The specific focus of my research is gene environment interactions in what causes Parkinson's disease. It's really the interaction between your genetic makeup and a lifetime of exposures that causes the disease. That's the sweet spot of our, our research. One of the highlights was development of something called the rotenone model of Parkinson's disease. It turned out that when we used the right dose of rotenone, we caused this nerve cell death and we caused formation of the Lewy bodies, which are a characteristic of Parkinson's disease. He's really gone in unique directions and um, trailblazed particular areas of research. Compounds like rotenone or paraquat are now being looked at to try to get banned to reduce the risk of Parkinson's. The more recent highlight uh, in my career has been looking at another mutation in Parkinson's disease called LARC2. What we found was that you didn't have to have mutations to cause LARC2 to be overactive. Exposure to environmental toxins, for example, could activate LARC2 and cause cell death. That has broadened the population of patients that may benefit from the LARC2 uh, therapeutics. I think the Fox Foundation has been amazing. I was one of the first scientists that they recruited to review grants when the, the foundation was first established in 2000. And they have evolved over time to meet the needs of the Parkinson's community. One of my former mentees was Todd Scherer, who was the first scientist hired by the, the Fox Foundation and rose through the ranks. A major component of the Pritzker Prize beyond scientific and academic achievement is a mentorship component. I have a very personal experience in Dr. Greenemeyer's mentorship since I was trained by him. Hey, Tim. Great, Great to, to see, see you. Man. Long time no see. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen Tim probably in two or three years just because of the pandemic. So it's just nice to get to spend time together. Well, come on up. I'll show you the pins where we have the research labs and where all the magic happens. There's a network of people that he has mentored who are continuing to make yeah, significant like impact there. in Parkinson's. Um, needs a couple more experiments to, to get to the bottom of it. By the way, this is Matt Keeney, Hi. who's a grad student. He's about the age you were when I first met you. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to take somebody who comes in curious and teach them how science is done to introduce them to people with Parkinson's disease, to increase their motivation, and to see them progress. What are you staining for, the synuclein? But this is staining for human synuclein. Okay. okay. Dr. Greenemeyer not only runs a lab, but he also cares for patients. And he always would push us when we were doing our laboratory discoveries to remember that he needed better treatments for the people he was seeing on the other two days in the clinic. And it had a profound impact on my life. It's a very intimate relationship you develop with patients over the years of following them with Parkinson's disease. That's really what gets me up in the morning and gets me going and motivates my laboratory research. The Prisker Prize has recognized annually some of the, the most amazing Parkinson's scientists around the world. To be among those that have been recognized, I think is really humbling. The prize funds from uh, the Prisker Award will go straight into research. Uh, we already have uh, somebody that we're planning to hire to work on our Parkinson's projects. Hey Sandy, what are you cutting? What I always liked about the way he ran his lab was that he really gave the individuals a lot of freedom to explore new directions. But he was there as the mentor to pull you back when he could tell you were going down the wrong path. I think that balance really led to innovation in the lab and a great training environment. What I can tell people now is that there's no good time to be diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, but this is the best time in history to be diagnosed with Parkinson's disease because things are on the horizon that may change the course of the disease and slow it down or even stop it. Mm -hmm.